Senators from Florida and Alaska have introduced legislation that would override the CDC's regulations and allow cruising to begin no later than July 4th. On Tuesday morning, Florida Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio, along with Alaska Senator Dan Sullivan, introduced the CRUISE Act, which stands for Careful Resumption Under Improved Safety Enhancements. The legislation would require the CDC to revoke its existing framework by July 4th and instead create an interagency group made of the Secretaries of Transportation, Homeland Security and Commerce. The bill has also been introduced in the House of Representatives, although it's unclear at this point whether it has enough support to pass. And after 30 years, Carnival Corporation Captain Christopher Wells is retiring from cruise ship life. 20 of the past 30 years have been spent with Cunard Line, with 13 of them aboard the Queen Mary 2. He also sailed with Princess Cruises and p Captain Wells combined his seafaring career with a 25-year commission in the Royal Navy Reserve and remains an honorary captain in the Royal Navy. Best of luck, Captain Wells. And although Disney and the Bahamian government held a public meeting on April 8th regarding the environmental impact assessment on the company's proposed cruise port at Lighthouse Point in Eleuthera, Bahamas, an organization called the Waterkeeper Alliance says that wasn't enough. Complaining that the session was dominated by Disney reps and allowed little time for questions from the public, the group is planning to host its own unofficial series of public meetings, with the first to be held on Zoom this Thursday, April 15th. Various environmental organizations have been attempting to stonewall Disney's development project of the area since it was first announced back in the summer of 2019. And cruise line stocks were about flat on Tuesday. Carnival Corporation up a quarter percent to 27.82. Royal Caribbean 86.53 down a half percent. And Norwegian up a half percent to 29.41. Breaking news and up to the minute industry coverage at cruiseradio.net. I'm Doug Parker with Cruise Radio News. The proceeding was a production of Cruise Radio. For more accurate and dependable updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit cruiseradio.net.